Hello, this is Carl Martin. This video will focus on the constellation Cancer the Crab. Cancer is one of the 12 constellations of the zodiac, patterns of stars through which the sun passes during its yearly transit. This zodiac sign covers the period from June 21st to July 22nd. So if your birthday is included in this range, happy birthday! Cancer is the dimmest constellation of the 12 zodiac members. There are no bright stars in this section of our night skies. At least they're not bright as seen from Earth. Naturally, the closer you get to a star, the brighter it seems. But there are some very interesting treasures in Cancer. Constellation. First, let's look at the constellation. Here's a screenshot of the software with a constellation outline overlaying the sky map close-up. Constellation Distance View. Here is the same sky map view, but in distance view mode. This shows which stars are closer by their size. Closest stars. The closest stars in Cancer are dim red dwarfs. First, we load the Cancer tag file. Start with the software centered at our home solar system, 000. Then change the viewing cube size to 104.4 light years, 32 parsecs. Next, we change the moving speed to 52.2 light years, or 16 parsecs. Finally, we move once in the minus direction along the x-axis, and once in the positive direction for both the y and z axes. This puts our home star system in the corner, giving us the largest possible view of Cancer stars. Second, we go into star list mode, selecting the Cancer tag and location within a distance of user supplied coordinates. Here we're using light years and type in 20 with the search centered on 000. The closest star is Gliese 1111 at 11.8 light years distance. Next is a star which doesn't appear in many star catalogs, MSDB 1512 at 14.5 light years. And finally, the binary system of Gliese 1116 at 17.1 light years. Brightest stars. The brightest star in the constellation is Beta Cancri, a K4 giant star at 185 light years. Its visual magnitude is 3.52, which is considered moderately weak. Much brighter stars in the field of view are the first magnitude beacons of Castor and Pollux in Gemini, plus Procyon and Canis Minor. Beta Cancri is a binary star with a close companion thought to be a red dwarf. Next brightest is Delta Cancri in the center of the constellation with a visual magnitude of 3.94 and a distance of 130 light years. The star is a single K0 giant. This is followed by Iota Cancri with a magnitude of 4.02 and a distance of 192 light years. This is a double star system with a G7.5 giant primary and a brilliant blue A3 dwarf. Finally, we get to Alpha Cancri with a magnitude of 4.25 and a distance of 165 light years. This star is transitioning from subgiant to giant phase as a brilliant blue A5 star. The star has a companion estimated to be a K7 dwarf. Gamma Cancri is the last of the five brightest stars with a magnitude 4.72 and a distance of 264 light years. Gamma Cancri is a triple star with an A1 subgiant primary, a close secondary estimated to be an F4 dwarf, and a wide secondary of an F9 dwarf. Interesting stars. Perhaps the most interesting star is 55 Rho 1 Cancri. So far, scientists have discovered five planets in orbit about that distant sun. 55 Cancri is a G8 dwarf at about 42.7 light-years distance. 
Scientists have estimated its age at 10.2 billion years, so it should be leaving the main sequence about now, becoming a subgiant on its way to becoming a giant star. If any planet in this system developed life on a timetable comparable to Earth's, it could have a civilization that's 5.7 billion years old. Clusters There are two noteworthy star clusters in Cancer. M67 is an open or galactic cluster. The cluster stands at about 10 minutes of right ascension west of Alpha Cancri and about 2,770 light years away. The entire cluster has a combined magnitude of 6.1, barely visible to the naked eye. It wasn't discovered until 1779. The cluster has about 100 stars similar to our own sun, and the age of the cluster has been estimated at between 3.2 and 5 billion years, making it one of the oldest open clusters known. Even at the minimum estimate, most every star in this cluster is old enough for any planets they may have to have evolved life and possibly an oxygen atmosphere. The most famous open cluster in Cancer is the Praesipa, or Beehive Cluster. This cluster appears far larger and brighter than M67. It stands about halfway between Delta and Gamma Cancri and slightly to the west. The Beehive has long been known to the ancients. The Greeks called it the Little Mist. Though not nearly as old, the Beehive is far closer at about 508 light years. The members of this cluster are moving in roughly the same direction through the galaxy as are the stars of the Hyades cluster in Taurus. Both clusters are about the same age, too, estimated at about 650 million years. Still pretty young for stars. This makes the Beehive and the Hyades veritable twins. Galaxies NGC 2775 is a spiral galaxy about 55.5 million light years away. This view from the Hubble Space Telescope was patched together from several snapshots. NGC 2535 and NGC 2536 are companion galaxies interacting on a massive scale. They are estimated to be roughly 191 million light years away. Alien skies from 55 Cancri the star with five known planets. Here's what Orion looks like. It's not very recognizable. The three belt stars are more or less the same, but the positions of many other stars are significantly different. In addition, several invaders from the Gemini constellation make it even harder to recognize Orion from this new star system viewpoint. The Hyades has visually moved a bit farther from Orion than we see it on Earth. The Pleiades is no longer trailing the Hyades bull. Instead, it is flying above the bull's face, with Rho Geminorum perched next to Beta Tauri and Castor Alpha Geminorum invading Taurus. Our own sun appears as a dim fifth magnitude star near Omega Capricornus while blue Sirius and yellow Procyon form a colorful pair. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this Cancer Birthday Zodiac look at the constellation.